Hello guys, it's Maddie and welcome to or back to my channel. So, today I have an exciting surprise. The Jeffree Star X Morphe brushes! So, before I dig into this, I do want to just say thank you guys. So, in my last video, I was unboxing the mystery boxes, and this is actually still your guys's. This is the giveaway box, and <laughs> that video did so much better than I was ever, ever, ever expecting. I kind of just wanted to do something nice, get back to you guys, because I can share, why not, do something fun, and... Um, a lot, a lot, a lot of people viewed that. I think it got about 3,000 views um, last time I checked, which is crazy. I gained about 300 new subscribers, so hello to all of you guys. Welcome. I am beyond happy to have you here. You guys have no idea how happy I am. This past couple of weeks has just been amazing for me. Um, my beauty page gained tons of followers as well, so you guys have given me so much love and I'm just like overwhelmed, so thank you. And I also wanted to say that <laughs> couldn't have picked a worse time to do a giveaway, literally. Um, the week I made that video, uh, that was two weeks ago, my family was actually here, my mama was here and my aunt and my little cousin were here as well, all from Arkansas. So they came a pretty far way to come and see me and I appreciate that, I love them. I had a great time with them. So you guys have been really understanding and I just wanted to thank you for that. Um, we are gonna do the drawing at the end of the video, so don't worry for all of you guys who've been super patient. Um, don't worry, this trash can has never been used before, it's brand new. But here's everybody's names who entered. There's about 200 of you in there. So I don't know, just thank you guys. And like I said before, welcome, and I hope that you guys continue to watch. I know that when you do a giveaway, of course there's gonna be a lot of people coming to you just because they want free makeup, and that was something that I learned. Um, doing this giveaway is not everybody cares about you, not everybody is going to watch you, um, you know, there was a lot of people that were literally like harassing me over it, but most of you were very loving towards the situation, super understanding, and you guys have been very patient, so the wait is over, almost, because it's time to review these, okay. So enough of me talking, um, I do want to show you my hoodie. So I wanted to be cute and wear something Jeffree Star since we're doing a Jeffree Star review. And then when I sit down you can't even see it. So here we go, I'm really excited. Um, to be honest with you guys, to be honest with you guys, I am nervous for this. Like, I do not use brushes. I don't. Like, my beauty blender, she's my baby. She helps me with everything. <laughs> like, I do my foundation with my beauty blender, my concealer, my baking. If I were to contour with creams, I would use my beauty blender. So, um, I literally use that for just about everything except blush, contour, and highlight, so let's see how this goes. Like, I've literally never used a brush to put foundation on, so, yikes. Uh, literally all of my bags right now are Jeffree Star. <laughs> okay, so, oh yeah, another really exciting thing, you guys, I am moved into my apartment um, I'm currently in my new studio, of course you can't tell, um, but I'm just overwhelmed. I'm so happy. And so many of you guys, I wasn't even expecting it, so many of you guys want to, um, me to do an apartment tour. So the reason why I have not shown you guys on social media, which if you're not following me, the link is in the description. Um, I've been 
kind of showing you guys sneak peeks, but I haven't shown you all of my furniture yet because I am doing this apartment tour when it's completely finished. So I did not order the sponges um, just because I have, you know, I already have a few beauty blenders and it was the brushes that I was really curious about. So we're gonna open them up. I've already done a little sneak peek of these as well. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I know there's been like controversy around these um, because, you know, apparently Morphe and Jeffrey were going to come out with these back in 2016 and then did not, kept them on hold, and then released the same exact like design from three years ago. Now, which a lot of people are like upset about because eBay and Amazon already have like pretty much the exact same. Um, design pink and way more for like six bucks these retail for $49 for seven brushes and as a Jeffree Star lover oh, I'm gonna buy them so let's see how they perform and just because I love him doesn't mean I'm gonna lie I am gonna be honest now this is the JS1 this brush is um, for foundation. So, um, hold up. Let me open all of these. I'm gonna take all of these out. I actually do my eyebrows first. I know I'm weird. Uh, I started doing that because I, for me, it's just a personal preference. You can really carve them out and then put the foundation over the concealer that you use to carve the brow out. So that's why I've been doing that. All right. This is the JS2 brush. This is for powders, um, setting powders. Wow, that one's cute. I love this. They are so cute. Um, they're not the heaviest brushes in the world, but they're also not the most expensive brushes in the world, so <gasps> They are so soft. Oh my god. They're so soft. My face has like a ton of moisturizer on but whew, Wow, that is soft Like that's soft. Okay This is the JS3. This is for contour and this is like literally the same brush that I use to contour anyway I use a lot of Morphe brushes anyway, so. So this is the JS4. This is used to highlight. Mm, I'm so excited to have a Jeffree Star highlighting brush because I only wear his highlighters at this point. Yeah, this is pretty much... No, this is more tapered for sure. This is what I use for highlighter right now. This is a Morphe Y14 brush. <laughs> yep, it's pretty much what everyone uses. Okay. And then, of course, he has the two eyeshadow brushes. For this is the JS5, and this is the JS6. And then, last but not least... Um, this I'm really excited about because Jeffrey mentioned that this has a razor sharp edge to really, really define those brows. So we're about to find out. And this is, uh, does this have a name? Yep. This is just the JS7. I'll read you guys the names as I'm using them. So here they all are. Very cute. I love them. Barbie vibes. Okay. Hey, I'm very sad to be ruining these. <laughs> like, I'm honestly like, no. Razor sharp. Not literally, but it, it, it's a really good brush for your eyebrows. Like, you can literally... Well, Jeffrey has no eyebrows, so... For creating a brow that ain't there, this is like perfect. Or in general. <laughs> 
and we have a perfect bra. So, um, my first thoughts on this brush, I love it. I have only ever used the Anastasia brush. So, I mean, this is basically the same exact brush. And it's pink and adorable, so <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and do this other one off of camera and I'll be right back. So this brush is a love. I actually carved them out with that brush as well. Now I'm gonna take my Tatcha Silk Canvas and prime my face. All right, so foundation is like my favorite part. And this is literally going to make or break everything, so let's hope that I can do this. Isn't that sad? I've never used a brush to put foundation on. Okay, you guys, I'm about to destroy this beautiful brush for you guys. So sad. I mean, <laughs> beautiful. Here goes everything. Oh my god, oh my god. There we go, it's ruined. <laughs> okay. Whoa, I'm actually like, kind of shook, as one would say. Like actually what? Okay, this mirror needs to get in place. Mama needs to get to blending. <laughs> I'm a full coverage queen. Maybe in the past I just did not give it enough time. Because with a beauty blender, it's like bam, 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 on flawlessly. And with a brush, you kind of have to like buff and perfect and go in for a lot longer than you would have to with a beauty blender. But I honestly like it. Like I'm definitely gonna use it again. Um, I kind of just expected to like use it on camera, hate it, and never use it again. But I like it, so that's awesome. I'm actually like obsessed with how this applied my foundation to. Okay. Okay, you guys, so um, my foundation is on. I'm loving it. So this is uh, called the Size Queen Brush. Okay. Size Queen Brush. Whatever, I like it. <laughs> I actually really like that. Okay, so he actually doesn't have a brush for concealer, so we're just gonna use the trusty old beauty blender for that one. Hello. Of course, taking my shape tape. My favorite. Hi, don't I look good like this? Okay, so I'm kind of worried about this too. Setting powder. Of course, my Huda Beauty. Love Huda Beauty. Um, so, I'm nervous about this because I've never used a brush for setting powder either. Like, once I find something that works for me, it's just like, why do anything else? Why do different? So here we go. <laughs> oh lord. So I'm just going to take the... 
I'm just gonna take the JS2 brush and dip in. So if you're trying to like pack it under your eye, honestly not recommending this. Okay, let's try that again. All right, so I don't think that this is a good baking brush. Definitely a good brush to put your powder on. But if you're trying to bake and really set your under eyes or like contour or brighten, I don't think this brush is good for that, to be honest. I'm just gonna compare, you guys. I'm just gonna compare and show you what I mean. So taking that damp beauty blender and dipping it in. Do you see the difference? Because I definitely do. And not to mention it's literally all over my shirt. It's just like, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't think I like this brush all that much. And I thought I was gonna be like obsessed with this. As you can see, my face is matte. Okay, so I will say that I would definitely use this brush as a powder brush. Um, like I said, it's just really hard to bake with this brush. Ooh, my hair. Like it's, it just, mm -mm. no, it's very hard. I mean, it definitely got the job done. It's super soft. I will probably use this brush to wipe away my bake, but I will still bake with my beauty blender. Oh yeah, by the way, that brush was called the Point Blank Precision Brush. Okay, so next is contour for me. I'm gonna get out my little contour shade and light palette. Once again, love this, love this product, but cat. Vaccinate your children. Um, JS3 contouring brush called the iconic contour brush. I knew it, I would love that. Definitely gonna be using that every day for contour. Okay, so Jeffrey does not have a blush brush yet. Um, at least hopefully he will. So I am going to be using the, I guess just the powder brush for this. All of my brushes are in the other room and I'm lazy, so. And I want to use all Jeffrey brushes, so I'm taking my NARS Orgasm blush. One of my all time faves. Now I realize this is not a blush brush, not even close, but whatever, it'll work. I actually kind of like the way it puts this on. It like buffs it perfectly into your contour. 
You can't use it to bake, so let's use it for blush. <laughs> oh shit. I want a little ham over there, didn't I? Okay. Word up. Alright, so I'm loving all of the brushes so far. Um, I'm actually going to take this brush right here, the JS6, which is the Rule Blender brush. And I am going to take my MAC Paint Pot and Painterly and prime my lids. By the way, I've talked about this in a couple videos, I think. Oh my god, I love it so much. Y'all need it. Like, trust me. I'm going to zoom in. So you can see this magic. The concealer and foundation is like filling in your lines. So this magic is going to poof, make that go away. And of course, prime your eyes. So your eyeshadows will stay on longer and look better. Ooh, that one's bad. <laughs> that one's real bad. Bye bye. Okay, this video is probably going to be on the longer side, Ooh, so whew, I'm going to try and speed it up. For the sake of time, I'm going to do a very simple eye look. So I am going to be taking this JS5 brush, which is the Crease Queen brush, and I am going to be taking the Huda Beauty Matte and Melted Shadows in shades Shimmering Sunset and Private Jet. I am obsessed with these melted shadows lately, and they're super quick and easy, so we're going to use this today. Alright, that's a good blending brush, I do like that. Um, it's a little, it's not as fluffy as I would like it to be, but it did blend it out, and I do, oh, ooh, a hair fell off, that's not good, girl, but it fits like perfectly into your crease, I will say that. All right, now for the lights for the other side. I am so obsessed with these melted shadows. I mean, they're just so cool. Like, I've never seen a matte liquid eyeshadow. And it's just, they're beautiful, they're easy to use. I love them. All right, so um, I do like this brush as well. So far, I like all of the brushes, so. In my opinion, it's all worth the money so far. And they're adorable, man. Like, you cannot deny that.
And there we have it, the world's easiest cut crease. Okay, you guys, so those are all the brushes. I am gonna go and do my lashes off of camera and I will be right back. Okay, I am back, lashes are on, and of course these are the Lily Lashes in my Ami. Okay, so next is my favorite step, highlight. The JS4 highlighting brush and this is the fly high brush so I am going to wet her with some matte prep and prime and I am going into wet dream supreme frost I am obsessed with this Supreme Frost. Huh. Literally just touched my face and it's already blinding. So obviously that is stunning, that's blinding. <laughs> wow, it's kind of buffing her out right there. I love being able to use like a Barbie pink Jeffree Star brush to highlight. If y'all know me, y'all know highlighter is literally my favorite part. I love it. Oh god, I love it. Nothing like a blinding highlight. Um, hmm. This is not thin enough. I'm gonna use my finger. I would usually use a pencil brush. Girl, we are nice and highlighted. So now it is time for lipstick. Let's dive into my trusty bag of lipsticks. Literally, this is all lipstick. I'm not kidding you. We're gonna wear Jeffrey Who. I am actually giving this away in the giveaway, Jeffrey Who, so I'm going to wear it for you guys. Beautiful. All right, so now it is time for my final thoughts on this brush collection, and then we're gonna dive into the giveaway. So I used every single brush. Um, I love all of them. The only one that I probably am not the biggest fan of is the JS2 brush, which is the big, you know, setting powder brush. Um, and the only reason I didn't like it is because you guys saw it's really hard to bake and girl I need to bake I have the worst bags under my eyes and I need to brighten so that's the only brush all the other brushes I loved and I will be adding to my everyday collection even the foundation brush I was shocked to find out <laughs> um, that I could even use a foundation brush to apply foundation and it applied flawlessly so like yes to that so all in all I loved all of the brushes and I will continue to use all of them definitely worth your money comes with a cute bag and seven brushes that are all adorable and you saw how they perform so it's up to you if you want them or not all right now here's the fun part that you guys have I'm sure all been waiting for so 
Again, like I said in the beginning of this video, I do apologize for how long it has taken me to do this. Um, in the future, when I do giveaways, it is not going to take this long. But like I said, you know, on Instagram, I am just one person. I'm doing this because it's my passion. I don't get paid to do this yet. Um, I don't have a team yet. And it's just me. So it's a lot of work for just one person to do. I have my boyfriend, of course, who is amazing at editing my videos and he's very helpful. But for the most part, it is just me. So checking to make sure if 200 plus people were subscribed to my channel, um, following me, had done everything right to enter the giveaway, and then writing down every single individual name, cutting them out. I mean, it was just a long process, so, and the reason why I am doing it the old-fashioned way and cutting out everyone's names and just putting them in a bucket and drawing is because that's the most fair way, in my opinion. I mean, it could not get more fair than this, literally. I'm giving you all a equal chance at this, um, so I've been praying a lot, you know, it's up to God. I hope that he lets somebody win who is deserving of it and who loves makeup as much as I do and who is genuinely a fan of this channel and my work. So, with that being said, here we go you guys. It's the moment of truth. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Okay. Come on. Okay. And the winner is... Roller Derby Queen. Okay. So, here... <laughs> I'm literally shaking. I've been like, oh, please, God, give it to someone. Okay. Whew. So, the giveaway is officially done. The winner is at Roller Derby Queen on Instagram. I've actually had a few conversations with you on Instagram and I know that you are an active follower. So thank you God. <laughs> I'm really happy about that. Um, you know, of course I would love to give it to like a friend or somebody that has been watching me since day one because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to give something back to you guys, to my followers, and I know that it was kind of unfair because a lot of new people that didn't even know who I was kind of just jumped in, but that's okay because they're here now, and um, like I said a hundred times already, I'm just glad to have you here, and thank you for subscribing and watching, and um, congratulations to you, Roller Derby Queen. I will be DMing you on Instagram once this video is live, and I will give you about 24 hours to respond to me. And if you do not claim it, I will do a redraw and give it to somebody else. So. Thank you to everybody who entered this giveaway. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing more in the future. Um, I'm not saying that I'm upset that people entered that weren't following me prior, like I knew what I was getting myself into, but I didn't know that many people were going to follow me and um, enter. So. That was just awesome, you guys, and I really do appreciate it, and I hope you guys appreciate what I'm doing for you. So, I'll show you guys one more time what's in here. You have the four Velour Liquid Lipsticks, the one Lip Ammunition, um, the Supreme Frost, a Skin Frost, a Pop Socket, a Peel Off Face Mask, and some bath bombs. If another video hits like a thousand views, I'm gonna do another giveaway. If I hit a certain amount of followers or subscribers on YouTube, I'm gonna do another giveaway. Um, if there's another mystery box coming out, whenever, another giveaway. Because this was really fun, and I think it was fun for you guys too, other than the wait. <laughs> so the next video, um, hopefully, will be my apartment tour. 
uh, comment below and just let me know what you guys want to see. I have a list made, but I love to hear your guys' ideas. I would love to know what you guys want to see so that I can keep you guys entertained and happy. Alright, so thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.